this video, we're going to look at a geometric sequence question that's suitable for students aiming for a grade nine in their GCSE maths exam. To get the most out of this video, I recommend you pause and attempt the question yourself. Then resume watching to see if your answer was correct or to find out where you went wrong. So this question states that the following are the first four terms of a geometric sequence. Square root of three, nine, 27 root three, and 243. Part A asks, what is the fifth term of this sequence? And part B states that the terms in another geometric sequence are all positive. The third term is seven root five over two, and the fifth term is seven root five over 10. What is the first term of this sequence? Now, a similar question was asked in a GCSE paper recently with the mean candidate score 0.8 marks out of a possible five, which is 16% of the total marks. And those students who achieved a grade nine scored on average 3.61 marks out of a possible five. And so this was a challenging question for all students. So let's get back to a similar question and go through it one step at a time. Okay, so the question states there are four terms of a geometric sequence, root three, nine, 27 root three, and 243. And part A asks us to find the fifth term of this sequence. Well, a geometric sequence is one where each successive term is found by multiplying the previous term by a fixed number called the common ratio. For example, if we had the sequence two, six, 18, 54, and 162, then the common ratio is the number you multiply to go from one term to the next. So in this example, it's three, because two times three is six, six times three is 18, 18 times three is 54, and 54 times three is 162. And the common ratio of three can be worked out by dividing one of the terms by the previous term. So six divided by two is three, 18 divided by six is three, 54 divided by 18 is three, and 162 divided by 54 is three. And so let's apply this reasoning to the sequence in this question. Well, we need to divide one of the terms in the sequence by the previous term. So let's pick the second and the first term. So we have nine divided by root three, which is equal to three root three. And so three root three is the common ratio. So now that we know the common ratio, we can multiply the fourth term, 243, by three root three in order to find the fifth term. So we have 243 multiplied by three root three, which is equal to 729 root three. So that answers part A. For part B, we're told that the terms in another geometric sequence are all positive and that the third term is seven root five over two and the fifth term is seven root five over 10. And we're asked to find the first term of this sequence. Well, if we represent the first term of a geometric sequence as A and the common ratio or the number we multiply by to get subsequent terms by R, then the first term is A the second term, AR, the third term, AR squared, and so on. In fact, the nth term will be AR to the power of n minus one, where n is a positive integer. And as the fifth term of this sequence is seven root five over 10, we can make this equal to AR to the power of four. So we have AR to the power of four is equal to seven root five over 10. Let's call this equation one. And the third term is seven root five over two. We can make this equal to AR squared. So we have AR squared is equal to seven root five over two. Let's call this equation two. Next, divide equation one by equation two. So we have AR to the power of four divided by AR squared is equal to seven root five over 10 divided by seven root five over two. And because the A's cancel on the left-hand side, we get R squared is equal to seven root five over 10 divided by seven root five over two. And then using KFC for dividing fractions, this becomes R squared is equal to seven root five over 10 multiplied by two over seven root five. Now cancel the seven root fives to give R squared is equal to two tenths, which then cancels 
to a fifth. And so r is equal to plus or minus one over root five. Now, whenever we take the square root, we also have to consider the negative answer. But because the question states that the terms in the geometric sequence are all positive, the common ratio must be one over root five. This is because if we took minus one over root five, multiplying the terms in the sequence, would result in alternating positive and negative terms. Okay, so now that we know the common ratio is one over root five, we should be able to find the first term a. To do this, pick either the third term or the fifth term. Let's choose the third term. So we have ar squared is equal to seven root five over two, and then rearrange for a by dividing both sides by r squared. So we now have a is equal to seven root five, over two divided by r squared. And substituting the common ratio of one over root five we just found gives a is equal to seven root five over two divided by one over root five squared. Squaring the one over root five gives a is equal to seven root five over two divided by a fifth. And so a is equal to seven root five over two multiplied by five over one. And therefore, a is equal to 35 root five over two. Okay, so that's how you answer a geometric sequence question that's suitable for those students aiming for a grade nine. If you found this video useful, please like it and subscribe to my channel where you'll find more videos for GCSE maths. Thanks for watching.